my piece is based on a poem by Blake called Jerusalem, Emanation of the Giant Albion. And this poem mentions Hackney, Bow, Poplar, Stratford. Um, and it uses them as a kind of analogy for um, mythological ideas, Blake's own mythology, his kind of his own crazy psychedelic ideas um, about the divine and how one sees the divine. And so this landscape of London, or the periphery of London as it would have been in his time, um, is very, very important for the way he sees religion and imagination and the divine. The 20 times 12 idea was very, very interesting for me because <laughs> The Olympics is already about um, athletes pushing boundaries, um, about going that bit further than has been done in history. Um, and writing music feels similar in a way. This idea of, of, of pushing hard and daring to go a little bit further is something which I think is in common between sport and music. And so the idea of the 20 times 12 scheme that brings both things together was, was really too good to miss. Composing is a very solitary um, thing to be doing. Um, one sits in a room and it takes a long time. I think it's like animation or something like that. It, one, every second of music, certainly in orchestral music, every second of music requires parts for maybe 100, 120 players. So it's very, very labour intensive, very, very hard work. I've written about three minutes of the 12 minute piece, um, which is actually more than a quarter because three minutes gives you a sense of context. Three minutes isn't something which just exists in a, in a vacuum. It has a, um, it has a consequence and it has something which leads up to it as well. The possibility of working collaboratively with an orchestra um, is a very rare thing. I mean, one doesn't get the opportunity to, to try things out with an orchestra every day. With a professional orchestra, one tends to get a short amount of rehearsal time and the rehearsals are so close to the concert that there's no possibility of changing anything, even if one wanted to. But to hear three minutes of a piece more than a year ahead of the premiere is a great luxury um, and very, very useful. The most daunting part of the whole process is making sure that there's enough time for everything to happen. There is a lot of work, there's a lot of practical work, not only in writing the piece, but then in copying out all of the parts. I'm looking forward to just immersing myself in the, in the sounds, in the music, in the musical ideas, and also even more in the poetry, um, and seeing if I can um, let loose and go on a kind of imaginative journey along with the poetry in a way. Um, the poetry is so kind of out there and left field and um, strange um, and very, very exciting, very exalted. It's, it's, it's got a consistently intense kind of spiritual um, tone about it. And um, if, I can, if I can allow myself to to write music that's, that's free, that could go down those kinds of roads, that would be very, very exciting.